So today I'll be showing you guys how to make use of this app called Saponify. Now Sapon Saponify is not the only app that we can use to determine the weight of our or the quantity of our soda and the quantity of our water. There are so many apps out there that will also do this job. This type of app are called soap calculator. Now if you look at the top right or the top left of this video, you see an app called Saponify. I'm going to click on it and open it and you see how it works. Now once the app open, if you look at the down right, the down right of this video, down right, the down right of this video, you see a plus sign. I'll click on it. So now take me to another option where I will see oils. This oils means there are several type of oil this app will show me, will display to me. That's why writing oils. I will now determine which oil I want to make use of and make that soap. I will now click on oils. Then if you look down again, you see a plus sign at the down right of this video. You see another plus sign. I will click on that plus sign. It shows me different kind of oil. You see the almond butter. You see the almond oil. Aloe butter, apricot kernel, argan oil, avocado oil, babasu oil, bee wax, black cumin oil. You see, there are different type of oil. But I don't want to make use of them. Let me say, let me say I got palm kernel oil. So the oil I bought from the market was palm kernel oil. So I will scroll so I find palm kernel oil. I'll continue scrolling. Scrolling. Okay. If you look there, you see palm kernel oil. Then if you look by the side of palm kernel oil, you see a plus sign. I'll click on that plus sign. That plus sign means that I want to work with palm kernel oil. I want to use palm kernel oil. I'll click on the plus sign. Now if you look at the top right of this video, you see a good sign, a mark sign. That is good. I'll click on it. It takes me to, it takes me to another phase. Now this is where, this is where the real fun starts. Now if you look, you see there, it writes there, palm kernel oil, and it, wrote, it, it now wrote zero ounce. Palm kernel oil, zero ounce. Now, OZ stands for ounce. If you see there, the, the, before the OZ, we have zero. It shows that I've not yet put the total weight of the oil I want to use. I want to make use of, let me, let me assume that I want to make use of 32 ounces of oil. I took my oil, placed it on my weigh balance, and it was weighing 32 ounces. Or, or, the, or the quantity of oil I measured was 32 ounces and I want to make a soap and the the recipe requires 32 ounces then that place that where zero is I'll put 32 there and don't forget OZ stands for ounces it's a short form or is the is the S I mean say it's the SI unit is the unit for ounces OZ so I'll click I mean yes OZ now click on it and put 32 and now now press OK Remember, this 32, I got it after I have weighed my oil on my weigh balance. First of all, you must weigh your oil. Get know the total weight of your oil on your weigh balance. Then carry that weight, that that no, that digit, that number or that value, and plug in in your soap calculator. Now, if you look at the top right of this video, you see another sign that shows good. I will click on it and I'll see what will happen when I click on it. And you have seen it has displayed. The quantity of caustic soda I should use. It has displayed the quantity of water I should use. Now, if you look here, you show something like super fat. Ignore the super fat. Super fat is another thing entirely. It does. I will explain it to you later. But it has nothing to actually do with what we want to do now. So ignore that super fat um, option you have seen up there. Just look at the lie. L Y E. Remember, I said lie stands for caustic soda. It's another word for caustic soda. L Y E. Now, in that LYE, they say I should make use of 5.35 ounces of caustic soda or of lye. 5.35 ounces of lye or caustic soda. Then if you look be below that lye, you see something like liquid. That liquid is, means the water you want to use and dissolve your caustic soda or your lye. And they said the quantity or the weight of water I should use is 12.16 ounces of water to dissolve 5.35 ounces of caustic soda or lye. And if you look down, you see palm kernel oil. It's still writing 32 ounces because that was what I plugged in there. Because I my maybe I, I dropped it on my weight balance and my weight balance told me that the weight of my oil is 32 ounces. And if I, I now plugged in 32 ounces, then it now took us to this menu that is showing this other phase of this stuff here. So it, 
since I plugged in my the total, if you look at the okay, right there, total weight. Now, if you look there, you see lie 5.35 ounces. So what I'll do is that I'll open my caustic soda container and place a con another container on my weight balance and measure my caustic soda or my lie until you reach 5.35 ounces. Once it gets there, I'll now stop measuring it. Then keep it one side. I'll now measure my water, which is the liquid. And I'll pour, I'll keep, I'll place a, a container on my weight balance. Then pour water into that container. And it will be reading. Once it gets to 12.16 ounces, I will stop pouring the water. Then I'll now take that water and use it to dissolve my caustic soda and stir it. Then when I finish stirring it, I'll now take the caustic soda and pour it into my palm kernel oil. Then continue stirring, put my fragrance, put my color. That's all. It's as simple as that. This app actually makes soap making very easy. Where you don't understand, please let me know. I would love to answer other questions. Thank you.